Good morning everyone and welcome to the video. The co-op campaign for Total War Troy is now in beta and has been for a little while, so me and James are checking it out. And this is a minimally edited VOD taken from my Tuesday and Friday streams. I've got a new schedule that you can find on my social media, YouTube and Twitch, so if you enjoy this please do go and follow my channel at twitch.tv forward slash tomfh is well good, all one word, and let me know in the comments or in the chat what you would like about this series and if there's anything else you would prefer me to do. Something to note as well, we are playing this pretty slowly and methodically while learning the campaign mechanics as it is a bit different to other Total War titles that we've played in the past, so please do get a cup of tea or coffee or whatever your beverage of choice is and settle in for a relaxing session of history, tactical warfare and general memory. And if you would like to support me and the channel, leave a like, subscribe and follow my new Twitch account. Thanks guys! <laughs> well this is the thing, because like the, the Spartans, they're not necessarily the good guys. You're the good guys. Maybe I'm the necessarily evil. Oh, definitely. Like at the the first prelude, like pr sp um, a, the uh, the prologue of Trojan War, Troy Zero, as they say, uh, is just Agamemnon be like, "We need to fucking kill my daughter so I win, so the wins happen." Yeah. And that's the entire book. Okay. We need right. wins. We need wins to crush the sea. Are you ready? The only way to do that is to kill my daughter. Let's let's. Let's crack on. You ready? And everyone's like, just kill your daughter! And he's like, oh, I can't. And then he's like, yeah, I totally will. Don't worry, boys. We'll do it. I'm so up for this. Right, we get little cutscenes, I think. So I'm going to press start. Oh, cool. And I will we'll, judge we'll watch the these. game based on the quality of these cutscenes. Okay, here we go. Not quite. You've got to press oh, ready. I, to... <laughs> I thought that was, was going to be it. Achilles, my boy. Look at the chin on that lad. I can't see him. I've just got my dude. My dude. Oh, that's oh, it's really. Oh, pretty. no cutscene. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we're well, online, so it's probably no cutscene. Okay, so it's I'm, me. I'm just in the fog of war area. It looks so nice. Oh, great. I'm just gonna have a quick read of my dudes. So I've only got one city to start with. I think. Okay, you're the way all the way down here. Oh no, I've got two cities. Two oh, cities. and the coloring is really nice for like the Mediterranean water. Oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's very vibrant and beautiful. So who am I at war with? Okay, um, and and I like the kind of. Summer. It's quite like the tall the mountains are and the valleys, they look quite good. I'm I think I have cannot. more. No, that's. Is that me? There's Where an empty I? city down here I can colonize. Right, who are these guys? Are they Spartan oh, noble pretenders? Oh, I'm over here. Ah. So I guess this is my tutorial Sparta. battle here. So so I found that this that game is, not possible. is very brutal. Like, you've got to be very. Um, Okay. cautious and kind of like like it's it's very much like the kind of rock paper scissors kind of thing and like arch archers do like a, a hell of a lot of damage if they're hitting you and you're not shielded and stuff so like it, it's it's pretty I brutal give up. um so okay. i got really two cities do here. i think i need to build this army what, what are these what do they do <laughs> i don't understand forest town forest city oh it's, it's right okay so we have Rather than just money, we have different resources. Oh god. Yeah. I hate learning new resources. Yes. This is like... So, we have... If you look at the top bar, you've got your food, wood, stone, bronze, and gold. Like gold, gold is better, apparently, later on, but earlier on it doesn't matter so much. So. Is it like Civ, then? Uh, with, kind of, but... With um, certain units requiring certain resources. Yes, you so know, certain units will require, like, bronze and stuff. Um, it's like with, um, ta like, horse units require the, the very the useful resource of horses. Mm. So, I don't think that... I don't think you have to worry so much about that. But, like, if Is you... This, different settlements have yet. different, like, um, types. So, for instance, this settlement down here that I've got is a stone quarry settlement. Um, so I so I can build buildings in that that will produce more stone and stuff like that. So trading is important. Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really careful about who I declare war on in this. I think because uh, I don't know. Like I think relations and and cities are gonna be very important. So, uh, so he's saying don't just go throw it because when you understand it, like it, with Total War, you've got the evil factions. You're like, if you're good, generally you want to just declare war with them because all the other good factions yeah. are like, oh yeah, maybe we'll ally with you. With these, I guess it's more complicated. Holy shit! I've got an ability. Right. Oh, so this is the thing as well. Your 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 hero, your faction leader, will have an ability. Um, yeah. And I don't even know what mine is or how I find it. Okay. So it's so it's the so you know under the resources you've got like the little tabs. So it's like. 
uh, Royal Decrees, Diplomacy, Royal Divine Decrees. Will. So Recall to Arms is what I'm playing. Let's have a look at this one. Metalist gains access to units from his allies' rosters for recruitment into his own. Oh, that's cool. Available units from each faction are shown below. Each faction's strongest units are always deployed, but they will only become available when the allied faction unlocks them. Right. So oh, I, I need allies. That's cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so I think I have Warlord of the Miridonia, Mir 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 Miridons, and it is Achilles and Apelus, and t plus 10 to diplomatic relations with Achaeans, and minus 10 diplomatic relations to Felgians. Okay, I don't know what that Who the means. fuck is a Felgian? I have no idea. I, su I assume when you look, uh, inspect a faction, it'll probably tell you. Then I have another thing called Spartan Colonies as well. Instantly colonize a raised settlement within your line of sight without thing. sending an army. Holy shit. I'll go through I'll go through each one and I'll explain to you what they are. So objectives is obviously self explanatory. Royal Decrees is your research in this game. So if you open that up, it shows you um all the different trees. So you can get put into like food, you can put into gold, bronze stone and timber and then as you go down those they will you know unlock certain different things oh i found i found i found what they're the ones at the end past the yeah, yeah. divine will then diplomacy is obviously diplomacy i think there's a there's a there's a couple of different new things with diplomacy that's quite cool i can't select diplomacy currently i don't okay. know why that's odd can you yeah i can oh maybe, oh, maybe it's because it's cause you're it's, yeah it's, it's not my, my turn. turn um and then divine will can you look at that i can't look at divine okay will. well i'll explain that to you when we when, well actually if I just bring it up now. That's so you can appease the gods essentially by offering like food and gold to them. And you can increase favor with different gods to gain different buffs, essentially is what that is. It's like Cadiz. I'm gonna buy that game and start playing it soon. I've decided. Okay. Probably alongside us doing this, I'm gonna i I'm gonna start playing that. Can I so. can I watch you and then Yeah if you want, that, sure. Because Maybe because I might I'm, play it on I'm my own the first couple of times. Game. But um yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Well I recommend getting um do a few runs. First, yes, and because you're not gonna make it all the way down because it's it's basically impossible to make it on your first run because it's so hard. Um, but yeah, once you've got every you once you've got an, one because it's so hard and one because you don't know how the game works yet. Hmm. Uh, so, ooh, X-Men. So I can kind of do um, so essentially I can do like global recruitment, but instead of it just being global recruitment, I can recruit from other from my allies' recruitment pools. So that's cool. Well, I think it's my recruitment pool, but oh, no, yeah, I can't. Hmm, I can't tell you what mine exact things are yet because I can't select them. As the gods but uh, I have hot-blooded Achilles, uh, no which question. has the description: your emotions control you and affect your entire faction. Don't know what hmm. that means yet. And I have living legend. Being a living legend increases influence and reduces faction-wide unit upkeep. Oh, that's quite good. Basically, I have bigger yeah. armies, I guess. I'm a legend, Achilles says. Right, let me just have a look at my settlements. So this is quite good, though, because it means you can... Because you don't just have one resource. It means you can, like, recruit armies, but then you can also build stuff with other resources. So... I can build some altars. I not, guess oh, what no. I want to... Oh, stop. I really like the UI in this, actually. It looks super nice. Walled City, Mustfield, and Houses. So that's great. So that's good. That's kind of most of why... I what I want already. They have like a night sky. That's really nice. Yes, there's a day-night cycle on the map and it just cycles as you wait and I love that. It's another really, really nice thing. Uh, um, I have to give whoever whoever designed like the visuals for this, mm, like this is probably the best looking um I haven't played Three Kingdoms, uh but it that one also looks uh but obviously it's China so it's more lush than Total War, which is <laughs> I mean not Total War, War Warhammer, fucking hell. Which is, I guess, fantasy, so they have a lot of different areas, but I think it's a, lot, a slightly older engine, and I don't know. I think, of anything, they needed to go more dark with Warhammer than they ultimately did. Uh, mm. But that's only because I, I'm a I'm a stickler for Mark of Chaos and that art style. And Total War Warhammer, as much as it's probably the best and most definitive example of that setting, uh, I feel like it doesn't have the correct look or feel exactly to what I used to, at least with older Warhammer Fantasy stuff, feel when it came to that to that setting. Does that make sense? Hmm. Uh, let's see if I can sort by treaties. There we go. Okay, so um, Military Alliance 
Defensive Alliance. And then I have a bunch of non-aggression packs. So who are my allies? So Fithia. Where are you located? Oh, Fithia is like right next to you. Okay, so to your south, the town of Tel Teleon. Talion. Um, those are my allies. So Talion, Talion, Talion. Literally to your south. To the south of Achilles. I've got there's a Penos of Achilles. Yeah, well, Talion. Patelion is me. Is it? Oh shit, we're allies. Of course we are, because we're doing it. <laughs> I was okay. about to say. <laughs> okay. And then I have a defensive um, allegiance with Mycenae as well, which is annoying because Agamemnon's a dick and is probably going to. Uh, you're literally after. brothers. I must I say, though. <laughs> your character, what's his name? Um, Menelaus. Menelaus. He's got a beautiful beard. He does. It's, it's very blonde, and it is certainly. It's going, isn't it? It's there. It's, 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 it's that's... doing its best. I mean, I love Achilles as a concept, but I don't like his design in this game. Mm. I think he looks a bit too much like a, he's going to chin me. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Let me see any war coordination target. Okay, I'm just going to set that. Uh, no, I'm not going to set that right. Right, fuck it. That's it. I'm, 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 that's my turn. I've had a little look around. Um, okay. Should I be building upgrades in this first thing? So... Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. I would. You probably have an enemy faction somewhere near you that you'll want to squish. I do. I can actually march on them right now. I would. I would. I would. Uh, I would recruit some units first because um, that's exactly okay, what I, I did. I have eight units. They have five. The first units. time I played this. Uh, ooh, I don't know. What are your units? Nice. I have oh, Achilles, an epic hero, uh, oh, champion it, of yeah. Fifia, champions. Who is uh, which are swords, weight yeah. class heavy, resistant flanking, frontline unbreakable. So they look like my my cool Epic boys. Seeds. And then I've got sword and shield infantry, which look like they're more fast. And they can special missile weapon, which I guess Ooh. that might be a spear. Uh, I've got light swordsmen, which yeah. they look like they're another flanky unit. I've got spear and shield infantry, which look like they're another frontline unit. Uh, they're Fifian spears, sorry. Uh, Fifian? Pythian? Pythian, yeah. Fithian, I'd say. Pythia? Find it online. Fithia. I've got Thalesian Mari Marines. They are two-handed look... spear infantry. They're swift, but they don't have shields. They, yeah. And then I've got young spears, and, and finally very... Aegean Javelin Men. Aegean. Aegean Javelin Men. Yeah, because the Aegean is the sea. Yes. Okay, so I've got some marines and I've got some um, frontline people. The enemy, I can't really tell, but they've only got five. And most importantly, they don't have Achilles, the, yeah. the, the Chad of all Chads. Okay, well, I'd say maybe you could. What I would do, though, before you do actually march on him, I'd say maybe march just across the river. So you can see. But he's on the one. opposite side of the river. You can see him. Yeah, yeah, I can see him there. Um, but well, if you I march can... up to the river bank opposite his, opposite him on the other side of that broken bridge, um, you could see if there's an army in their settlement. Because if there is, you don't want to attack him just yet. Okay, there isn't. Oh, okay. I reckon you could probably pull this off. In fact, if you wanted to give me your skirmishes, I reckon in the battle, I reckon we could we could do this. Cool. Quite nice. Before then, I've got a royal decrees. What would you recommend doing? Um. So, I've got what's probably the most important at the moment is wood and food. Food is food will fuel your troops and your recruitment, and wood is used for sort of low-level buildings. That will turn to stone eventually. I've already got uh, royal granaries, so the, two and the first food. food. One, yeah. I've got the first food and then the royal bronze. Uh, should I then get royal timber then? Maybe, yeah. That sounds like a like a plan. Or I can get public service and get plus ten growth. Um, I went. For, I'm going for the growth one at the moment because it's only three turns. Yeah, I I agree. I, I want because I think that I will what give increases. us the fastest thing in the long run. Yeah. Uh, I always ignore growth when I'm doing like turtley campaigns, and I realize that's Gro a bad idea because everyone yes, else growth is like growth away. is the most like important thing early game because it allows you to get space in your settlements and um, increases your. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, I usually build a load comparisons. of growth buildings and then delete them when I'm firing. Uh, so Alos has a couple of build slots, um, like I can use. What are what's going on here? <laughs> what are these symbols? Um, uh, what are you looking at? Because I'll get my building browser up as well. So, know. at the moment, it looks like I can. Um, so I've got the max level for both 
uh, timber and ocean in Alos. Uh, and it looks like the other places... Oh, max could... level. Or just max level you can get now. Yeah, max level I can get currently. Okay. Um, I think if you've got a growth building... If I, if you've got a, if you've got something on the sea, you've probably got a growth building, don't you? I've got a ship stand, which is um, line of sight. Besiegement armies can leave the settlement via the port. Does it give you twenty growth? to growth oh, and okay. so some food? So if it gives you, so you've already got growth, and I've got uh, logs, and you've got lumber. So I'd go honestly, probably at this point, with happiness. Okay. Which That's would what be what one? What's happiness? Um, it'll be under the purple, or like the lilac coloured uh, tab. I've the got uh, a vineyard. I'm growing a vineyard. I don't have a. I have. I have access to port special military and resources. Right. Okay. So is that your? Is that your capital? It's not my capital. Okay. I don't have any build yeah. slots in my capital. This oh, is my not... second one. Do you not have any build slots? Or can you just not afford anything? Um. No. It. Uh, currently, my I'm only second level for the capital. What buildings um, do you have in it? Because uh, I, oh, I, I, I have a, see, I think. I have a port. I have and a, a muster field and a uh, statue of Achilles. Okay, I think just go hard growth because you're gonna want a um a building. Okay, to so another growth building. Happiness. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's a good growth building. That's more wood. Uh, Unless you don't have one, and then maybe just go like wood or food. I guess I could just go food. I don't... So that's... Resources? What's a good food one? I've got Apprentice Fletchers. That... No, there's no really food ones. There's just wood. I can all... Oh, it's because it's a it's like a forest village, isn't it? It's a forest town, so I only yeah. have wood as the main resource. So should I try and get more wood? Uh... Should I get loggers' tents? Because it looks like... That would actually be beneficial because it gives me no negatives unlike a lot of the other building like the other ones give me like minus four food or minus to happiness or minus to growth well this one just gives me plus 26 wood and high influence bonus plus 34 wood per turn i mean i mean it's only two turns so i, mean, I think that's probably the best idea what we could um, even do is we could focus our settlements our, our factions on like specific um resources and then trade with each other so we could it I looks like stone. that town you just benefits wood. from having wood so i'm going to focus on also that okay. looks like the best thing to get right now because there's no negatives okay and if i need one of those other benefits then i can just like delete another building mm. here's an idea so i've got i've got a farm settlement near me that i can colonize so if i colonize that i will have stone production and food production and then i can trade we can trade uh, between us for those things if um, if you need either of those uh, mm. that could work out right okay yeah okay sounds, so i'm just looking what the current the current things are uh and it looks like when it comes to the one which i didn't understand which is hot-blooded achilles uh he has different like things different and they like give things. you di different different sort of like emotions and they bend, they kind of like change how you what benefits you get. So currently I've got Proud. When his mood reaches 100, Achilles will have a mood swing, which will affect both his army and his faction. At this point, his advisors will offer gifts to soothe his strong emotions. Wait, do people <laughs> just, like, give me shit so I don't fucking punch him? I don't know, but it sounds about right, doesn't it? When it's indignant, I get plus 30 to all resources faction-wide, plus 10 to happiness, minus 10 to influence, and minus 50 to... To deal evaluation of all the diplomatic agreements. With grieving, I've got favor of the gods plus 20, plus 200 experience of all units per turn, favor from priestess rituals plus 20, and minus 7 to happiness, at, like overall. And outraged, it's plus 40 to melee attacks, um, plus 100 to treasure looted for after battle, plus 10 to casualty replenishment rate of all armies, plus, plus 25 40, damage to all units. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, Achilles is a, is a beast. Oh, is that just for him? Or is that just for him? Uh, no, it's his army. Wow, that's mad. That's so good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I guess maybe what happens is when you use that or use one of those... I don't change um... them. It just sounds like stuff changes it. Which okay, is so happy. maybe as you go along. Or maybe it's maybe it's event-based, so it's like if you yeah, lose a battle. Yeah, but Proud, which is his default, gives you nothing. Um, from the looks of it. So currently he's got no negatives or positives. Mm. With Living Legend, being a legend 
uh, increases influence and reduces faction upkeep. Uh, oh, I just have to challenge people. I just could just be like, hey, you, fuck you. Okay. So I just need to bring my army there and see what happens. That looks interesting. Um, I can challenge random people on the map. To just fights? Like battles? Yeah, I could. Achilles just finds people and fucks them up, apparently. I'll, I'll deal with this guy first. Okay. And then we'll see does how the it guy works. To you, does it... It's hard and okay. fast. It's hard and fast. I don't I even need to. Look Look at that auto resolve. I can't see it. Um, do the battle. I... Do the battle. It's the first one. No, no, I'm going to auto resolve because. What? It is a decisive victory to such an extent that I do not think I'd even need to bother. And <sighs> I, I would rather not have my my silliness like accidentally mean that I lose this battle on more than otherwise I That's would. Boring. Ah, I'm all resolving. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that is ah. wild. Oh. Oh. Oh! Just Achilles oh, yeah. stabbing him. Oh my god! <laughs> On my screen, he cut his head off. Oh, in mine he didn't. He just stabbed. Oh, that's because I don't have the blood yeah. for the blood. God, that was oh, nuts. DLC. Okay, so what do I have? Blood I have the blood. take them on, Please. unit replenishment, uh, spill it. Morale to units or treasury. Let's just re revive. I am unstoppable. More slaves? Achilles, I thought Achilles I liked. Slaves. I could, war I could go on to Hestia and try and conquer Hestia already. Do you think I could? It is a walled settlement. It's uh, a fortified settlement. I wouldn't, yeah. I'd just build up your dudes first. I Honestly, I'd be more, um, I'd just be, be cautious about it. Uh, unless the garrison is really weak. How do you check It is garrison? actually quite weak. If you just click on the settlement, it's the uh, I could probably take them. Islanders, light spearmen, young spears. Oh, Who I, are they I friends with? Oh, actually, it doesn't guess it. It's not really I'm already at war of them. Yeah. Um, uh, just one thing I will say. There's a guy to your north. Um... To the north of Alas, is he friendly with you, or is he? Are they at war with you? Uh, to the north, who are you talking about? You talking about Eumelos? Yeah. What's his? Is they are they friendly with you, or? Uh, how do I tell? Uh, so there's the little like sword and like scroll next to the name of the settlement. Or they're the, they're friendly enough. Okay. They're sure. like positive. They're not like. There's treaties with them, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm just checking. You're not going to get ambushed from the north. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I mean, if you want to do the siege. Okay, this is more more even. Should I build a battering ram and hold out for until then? Well, do they have any other settlements? They've got. There's another one in that province. Um, what are, what faction are these guys? The Elopians. Right. They do actually have another uh, settlement called uh, Serenthos. Yeah. Um, so, do they have walls on this? this yes, place? they do. Um, so you could build a battering ram. That would probably be quite quite handy. The only other thing I will say is I'd be careful because uh, an enemy arm, another enemy army, could literally just come out of the fog of war and attack you, and that's not a fight that you would want to be in. So I could, I could fight this battle now. I have, I have apparently a more chance of winning than they do. But can you breach the sea? In fact, I, don't know. I think your guys just start with ladders, you know. I don't even think you have to build them. Should I? That might I, not be I, true, but they have got a feeling. Do do they have the the the? So does this this sie do the sieges in this game have the total war warhammer situation of? No, they're like um, a full settlement. Yeah, but can they shoot you from millions of miles away? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. They do have towers mm. though. Okay. Let me let me see this. I'm I'm going to display a preview of the map. Okay. Cool. I'm going to um, fight this battle. Okay, we doing it now. Awesome. Yeah. There we go. Look at the terrain actually. Is it? Ooh, let's do some planning. Um. I'm thinking of hiding in the trees to get them the AI to not know where to put their men on the walls. Because there's not enough men to hold, like, to, like, man the entire settlement, is there? No, I'm just looking at what the troops they've got. Light spearmen, young spears, renowned slingers. Right. I don't think you'll have a problem killing their troops. I think it's just 
the issue is going to be getting over the wall. Uh, Can I just challenge this guy and be like, hey, come down here? I don't think so. <laughs> well, like, Gamer Thrones, like, 